Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today I'm back with my buddy Jason. We're up at Timeless Customs. You built this car ground up. We did. Now it's owned by Kevin Hart. Right. And Kevin, since he took delivery, was like, yeah, I want to do a like a 2.0. I want to do a refresh on this car. So originally this car was built, I'd say 10 years ago. The car has a Art Morrison G-Max chassis underneath it. This car has C6 front suspension in it as a triangulated nine inch four link in the rear. It has a D-stroked LSX based LS7 in it. So it's 380 cubic inches or so. Okay. Uh, nine to one compression, forged rotating assembly, obviously. Uh, CNC LS7 head, and then it has a new set of 68 mil turbo netics, ball bearing turbos on it. Yeah, we yeah. did upgrade the turbos for him. Actually, yeah. I would say we updated the turbos. Yeah. You know, turbo technology has come a long ways in 10 years. They're really quick to respond yeah. and make really good boost. Oh, it made 650 horse and like 680 at the tire torque. Wow. You know, wow. And, and I think right now we got the car at eight pounds of boost. So really light setup, so you could pump gas, beat on the car, yeah. right? Center force dual diode clutch behind it, Tremex six speed, aluminum drive shaft, nine inch Ford, track lock rear end, 355 gears, carbon ceramic Brembo brakes on it, like yeah. most of our cars Which do. We do that on just about everything. Absolutely. A fantastic set of forge line wheels, yeah. right? Yeah. And then we have the Kumo tire on it off of the Viper. So it is running. Big 355 in the back. It's 355. And you run a pretty big front tire on here too, right? This car's got a 305 up front. <laughs> yeah. So it has a big wheel and tire all the way around. Oh. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then exhaust, is this one of your like full Yeah, stainless? we built the header. So it's an inch and seven eighths primary tube, stainless header, feeds the turbos, and then three inch off the turbos all the way back. Mm -hmm. This car actually does not wear mufflers on it. The oh, turbo, really? Yeah, the turbo the does turbo a pretty good job. It. Yeah, quieting it down. So we don't, have a, we don't have a muffler on the car at all. I don't want to say we completely redid the car for Kevin, but we did tear the car down. We took the motor and trans out, made sure that they were healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, we went ahead and painted everything, satin black this mm -hmm. time. We then went through the body work, straightened the car up a little bit, shot the car black for him, added the flush mount, Fessler front and back glass. Yeah. Is this diffuser different than it was We before? did, we changed it the is. rear cut yeah. out in the yeah. car, we added a little diffuser, and then we changed the front lower valence as well. Kevin named the car Bad News. I'm and, laughing because <laughs> in the Motor Trend episode where like every 20 seconds he was like, it's got some Jason, you're gonna news. give me some bad news. Right. <laughs> right. John Harry, come look at what it says right here on my dash. What does it say, Kevin? Bad news. Come on, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> so this is bad news. I don't think there's anything wrong with the car at all. You know, it's a phenomenal car. It's just gotten better with time. It makes a visual statement as well. All right. So the other big part was this was also with Sean Smith, right? Didn't Sean does it Sean help design to design the interior? The interior? Car? Absolutely. And then it's a Gabe's. This is radical though. This is like very Euro inspired. A lot of leather in this car now, right? A lot right? of leather. The flat bottom wheel. The one off dash, the one off center console, the rear seat delete. There's there's a massive amount of detail in this interior and it, it really, it, it makes this car stand out now. I mean, it's funny, dude. It's like your company's called Timeless Customs and it's not just a random afterthought to call your company Timeless. This car doesn't look like it was built 10 years ago. That's Your our cars goal. don't date themselves. That's our goal. God, this is stellar, dude. I really hadn't caught a good glimpse of this interior yet. I love what Gabe's does. I think they're some of the best of the best. The interior is just like the car, you know? It's the detail that sets it apart. Yeah. And, and that's really what it comes down to. Well, dude, let's, let's, let's get some cameras up here and... Uh, go drive it? Let's go drive this bad boy. Let's do it. Hey you guys, before we go for a drive, a big thanks to Off The Record for sponsoring today's episode. Off The Record will pair you with a local attorney that will help either get your ticket completely dismissed or at least reduce the fine. When your average ticket fine is $150, you might think that's not a big deal. When you think about that your insurance costs could rise, it's seriously something to consider. Off The Record has a 97% success rate in getting you out of your ticket or at least reducing the fine. If they're unable to do either of those, you will get a money back guarantee. If you use the discount code Autotopia LA, you're gonna get a 10% discount. So I highly recommend checking out Off The Record. All right, you guys, let's go for a drive.
Ah, dude, it's it's cool to get to drive this car again. Right? Yeah, it really is. I remember right away, like, just how rock-solid planted it feels, you know? It's going to come on boost instantly as soon as you hit the throttle. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right? What a great tone it's making, dude. It sounds good. It does. No, it, no it muffler. far from loud. I right, mean, right. You know, that's surprising to me without... Turbos really quiet the car that much, Absolutely. don't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, now, I was just being really light on it before. Now you're hearing the blow off. And Kevin, not that you're watching this video, dude, but your car that was already great is flat out better. Yeah, it is. It's better. Yeah, it's gotten better, for sure. I mean, looks-wise, it's already dramatically better, but, I mean, you already had the platform with the R Morris and the CC, all, all the suspension technology. We just dialed there. it in a little bit. Yeah, the, right? I like I like the boost. It seems a bit more linear than before. Wow. Dude, I'm not even getting close, as you know, I'm not even getting close to Redline. That was 5,000 RPM. Right. What a great driving car. He's got it. Does he just love it when he drives it? Yeah, and he just cruises this thing, you know? Like, yeah. He's just a mellow cruiser. That's what he does. I can tell you guys from having driven this car before, suspension, the platform of the car is very much what it was before. I mean, the Art Morrison chassis, the Corvette geometry on suspension, it's just flawless. But I can tell you this much, man, the power delivery is very different than it was before. It's under boost, ready to go immediately. God, I mean now, just right away it comes under boost. Obviously, this interior is as stunning as it gets. I mean, you bank on Gabe's every time to do a bitchin' interior, Sean Smith and his design elements. And I'm not even getting up into the top of the, the power band, you know, I'm hitting like Five grand, fifty-five hundred. I think Jason said they have they have the rev limiter set up around sixty-eight hundred. Oh. oh my God. You guys have heard me say this before. I'm doing my best right now to not fall in love with this thing. I mean. Well, by far, this is the best bad news I've had in a long time. Sorry, you guys, I couldn't help myself there, but Truly a stunning car. I love the work that Timeless Customs does. I love their builds. And I think Kevin Hart has extraordinary taste in the vehicles that he's choosing to build. So here's a couple more Timeless Customs builds for you as we say goodbye and thanks for hanging and watching what we do. We'll see you in the next one, you guys. Later.